Hi, this is Karen with Karen Schultz Designs. Did you know that there's a drag and drop feature available in Photoshop Elements for users with versions 11 and above? Today I'm going to show you how to use that feature. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2020 and I'll be demonstrating with my new memory photo collage template. This template also is available in PSD, TIFF, and PNG formats and PSE users versions 10 and above, I'm sorry, 10 and below, can still use the template just like they would any template, they just won't have access to the drag and drop feature. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I created this page using photos from our son's wedding. To make the process go more smoothly and quickly, I first gathered all of the photos I wanted to use, I made a copy of them, and placed them in a temporary folder. It's easier to just go to one folder to select the photos you want to use when you're working on your page. Then, when I finished, all I had to do was delete that temporary folder because the photos were duplicates. This is what a drag and drop template looks like. Notice that there's some text on the grid. The text says, click here to add photo or drag photo here. Also notice that the layers panel looks a little different than you might be used to. That's because the drag and drop feature works with groups. If I twirl a group open, you'll see the text layer and the mask layer. But don't worry about that, we're not gonna be in the layers panel today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and twirl that closed. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see it. And so to begin to populate this template, the first thing you need to do is click on the move tool. To add an image to the template, click on the text on the document. So I'm going to start on row one, grid one, or space one. Click on that text, and that signals elements to open up your computer structure. And I already have it set up to go to my temporary wedding collage photo, or I'm sorry, photo. So I'm gonna click on that first picture and click place, and elements drops it right in place. Now I can rotate it left, I can rotate it right, I can make it larger by moving the slider or smaller. I can click inside and move the picture around. Or if I decide I really don't want that picture there, click on this blue icon and you can go select another photo. I'll make that a little larger I'll bring it over. Once you're happy, go ahead and click the check mark to commit. Now let's go ahead and add that flower photo back in. And it's fine, I'm not gonna do anything with it. You notice I don't have the check mark. So to commit that, all I need to do is click on the canvas over here and I'm ready to go to the next grid. And you just continue that way until you're all finished. Move that down a little bit, I might even Bring that up just a tad. This is really great to use for a lot of photos from one event. You can bring them up really close. Let's see, this one is this one is a little closer of Melissa with her dad dancing. It's a little obscured because of the cluster I put there, but you can make them as far away or as close up as you like. It's great for close up of faces. Right here is my son. I could have made him a little larger, but I just kind of liked it like that. And so that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email and I'll try to answer them for you or you can leave a comment below. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try out the drag and drop feature. In my next video, I'll show you how to make a larger image like this fit right on top of your grid. Thanks for watching.